So um, I'm here today with Professor Kenneth Armstrong, who is the Director of the Centre for European Legal Studies, and we're going to be talking about the UK's influence within the EU. So to start with, uh, in what ways does the UK have influence within the EU? The UK has influence uh, in a number of ways. Firstly, we of course, as, as UK citizens, elect members of the European Parliament who are there to represent the interests of, of UK citizens and our national government is represented directly in two very important EU institutions. One is the European Council, that is those big meetings of Prime Minister, Presidents and Heads of State and also on the more day-to-day -day basis in what is known as the Council of Ministers and the Council of Ministers is a body that brings together the representatives of national governments to, in coordination with the European Parliament, adopt EU legislation. The UK also has much more indirect ways of influence in, through its civil servants, its personnel, who are involved in much of the day-to-day -day work of implementing and applying EU law in areas like environmental rules, uh, health and safety standards. And the expertise that these uh, civil servants bring is very important in the development of EU rulemaking. There's this perception though in the media that um, the UK is being governed by a bunch of faceless bureaucrats in Brussels who are not UK people. What do you think might be driving that perception? There's two sides to that, I think. One is there's a perception that it's the European Commission that adopts EU legislation. Now, the European Commission has an important role in drafting proposals that it sends to the European Parliament and to the, the Council of Ministers, but it is those bodies and where where we have representation on both sides, if you like, that ultimately must decide things. I think the other thing is the, the European Commission itself is a, it's a multinational institution. It brings together uh, civil servants from, from right across the, the European Union. And UK civil servants have been very important in working in the European Commission uh, in the past in important areas of uh, economic life. But it is perhaps true to say that given the level of antagonism that there is often been towards the European Union. It may be that there's not so many British people who've sought jobs and professional careers within the European Commission in the same way. So to give you an example, if you look at the middle management of the European Commission, the UK has about 5% of the middle management. Compare that to France and Germany that have more like 10%. So maybe that British people have been put off applying for jobs within the, the European Commission and uh, seeking to develop their professional careers there. Mm. Some people have asked whether the EU's got a democratic deficit. Is there a democratic deficit at the heart of the EU? I think that it's important to recognise that there is, of course, a balance to be struck when you're trying to reach common rules across uh, 28 member states. The UK is one voice amongst 28. However, the UK has a significant degree of voting power in the Council of Ministers, it alongside France and Germany has a, has a bigger stake uh, compared to some of the smaller member states, uh, for example. But also, that although there, ha there are these complex voting rules, in the end, what's important for the European Commission when it's proposing legislation is that it can get rules that, where there is, there, there is a consensus because that will help in terms of the implementation and enforcement of rules. And therefore the position that is taken by countries like the UK and other bigger member states is very important and it's important to listen to the concerns from those states to ensure that the, the deal that is eventually done is one that they can actually make stick and enforce across the EU. So what might happen to the UK's influence in the EU if we voted to exit the EU in June? I don't think there's likely to be a sense that the UK uh, is weaker as a consequence. I think the, the fact that the referendum is taking place is being taken very seriously uh, in uh, European uh, Union institutions. And it is important that the, the concerns of every member state, and it's not just the UK, remember, that has anxieties about the future direction of the European Union, for some states that are within the Euros, Eurozone, like the Netherlands, we know that there are concerns and anxieties about transfers of power there. And then there's all the other EU states that are not within the single currency. They too are 
anxious and worried about the future direction of the European Union. And I think this is a useful opportunity for everybody uh, across the EU to reflect upon what the direction of European integration is and how best to ensure that it's something that works for all the member states, big and small, Eurozone and non-Eurozone. Mm. And if we vote to stay, do you think other member states are likely to follow suit and ask for some sort of renegotiated settlement like the UK has? I think if, perhaps the other way around, that if the UK were to vote to leave and were to try and renegotiate some relationship with the European Union that was part in, part out, the same sorts of incentives then will apply to other member states. And that could itself then be a quite destabilising factor for, for the European Union. Mm. And is there one key message that you'd like to share about the UK's influence within the EU? The UK uh, also needs to make sure that its influence is something that is productive and not simply negative, that it actually acquires and seeks influence on, on important policy agendas that affect UK citizens, but also affect other citizens right across the European Union. I think the UK can afford to be a champion of important areas like, for example, environmental protection and to help develop coalitions right across the European Union to help it further respond to the needs uh, of its citizens. Thank you very much.